to look at doing is adding some articles to the website and by what I mean by articles is um, particular posts that go in the news section or the events section. So it's going to be a little bit different to a page but it's uh, same principles in applying a new post slash article to one of those categories as opposed to yeah, adding a new page. So it's nice and easy. Um, what we can do is just let's just have a quick overview of the news section. We can see that um, there we can just see there are a number of articles already being placed in there just for example's sake and also in the events section as well there's just a couple in there that we've um, added beforehand but let's just say that we want to add a new event for example it's nice and easy because we've already logged in we can just come up here and this is the important part now we've got to click post so we're not creating a new page we're creating a post slash article so let's just go in here and um, the event that we're going to be is is I'm just going to be cool. Let's go etching. It's going to be etching or oh, etching class. Oh, let's say etching demo. There we go. It's something more of an event type name. And you can add your text here, and you can just um, as you like, or you can cut and paste if you had a lot of text there. I'm just going to add a fair bit there just to get the idea of it. And the important thing is here, because it's an, a post slash article, we're going to tell it what category that we want it to go into. And because it's an event, we want to click on the event option there. So you can do two things. You can preview it or you feel confident that's um, good to go. You click publish and that automatically gets um, added to the website. And now it's, uh, you can, people out there on the internet will be able to view it because it's been made live. And you can see that's been added there and just another few things about this now we can go onto the events tab and we can see that that latest article post has been added to the top and just let's just say that we wanted to have on the events page you'd like to have a few pictures there for example let's just go and see how we can do that i'm just going to click edit post i've clicked on that particular one and we want to have a big image in here as well so i'm just going to return and add media we're just going to pick the generic size for inserting into a page or a post and click insert you could add a caption here and alt text is good to add that kind of just descri um, describes the image so you just say um, I was typing that twice, so standard size. And for example, if it was this one next to it with the, the lady there with the bottles, you might write something like lady with, with recycled bottles or something like that. So I just click insert into post and click update. And we can view that post. Now that we can see that's got an image in there as well. And when we go into the events section, we can see that it's added that image to the events category of the website. Let's just say, for example, we didn't want to have all this additional text underneath there. We just want to have a nice big image up there for that um, when we look at that category of events. Let's just go back to or click on that particular article post and we're going to edit it. So nice and easy. And here's just a little trick for you to um, know about. Say, for example, See this option here, it says insert read more tag. So I'm going to show you what that does. It's probably the best way to do it. So I've clicked it and added it there. I'm just going to click update. So when you view the post, nothing's changed on that on the individual post itself. But when you go to the category where that post is um, being selected for, you'll see that there is that more read more link here and we don't get to see all that other information so you can see that as we've added it just there let's go back here you can see that there we've got it there i'm just going to select that and then click delete and let's just show you something we bring our cursor down below the image and 
click insert read more just been added there you can visually see it there click update so now when you go we'll just view the post see nothing's changed there but once we go to the events category we can see that we've got that more option just after the image where we replaced it so that can be quite handy because you may not want to put every have that events uh, category section display all the post um, text you might just want to keep it nice and short and and so people can just kind of scroll through it and then just see which one they want to look at um, yeah or going to or reading more about so it gives you a bit of an overview and so for the new section it's the same principles applied to it just say for example you want to create a new article for the new section ready and once again you can add your text or images as need be and you just select the category that you want it to go into so I'll be going to the news section and we're just going to click publish just going to view it so you can see that's all good there and then you go into the news category we can see that that's been added to the top there and just a quick thing too you can see that the latest two news articles only from the news articles gets displayed in the sidebar there so people can just kind of get a if you want to catch um, bring something to attention you can do that by that oh latest news articles will appear on the right hand side there so i think that pretty much covers it just for doing the basics of adding a new post slash article to, into a news or events category section so if you've got any questions yeah please ask